it's shocking, right? And what I want to gear this sermon towards is the Christians out there. And I mean Christians, people who are believers, people who are saved. Because people who are unsaved, they can't receive the things of God. I don't care if they go to church every week. I don't care if they call themselves a Christian. If they're not saved, the natural man receiveth not the things of God. They need to hear the gospel. So this sermon isn't geared for the unsaved. This sermon is geared for the really watered down Christian that doesn't know their Bible, that has been brainwashed by the world, and just has really bad doctrine. Now, this sermon is really geared for you to help you to have all the tools in one place to be able to answer the Christian as to why, you know, what they're repeating is completely false. Because every time something like this comes up, you're going to get one of the same arguments. And if you followed any of this on social media, you'll see it's always the same things. So I'm going to go through point by point of what were the most common things that people say, right? From love the sin or hate the sin, right? I would see that maybe once or twice. Or um, judge not, right? I thought you're not, you're not supposed to judge. These are things, and there's a few more. We're going to get into all of those. There, there's about three or four just, you, you just see this, you know, the woman taken in adultery. What about that? You know, use without sin, cast a stone, love your neighbor as yourself. And it's just these platitudes, these things that people just want to throw out there because that's all they know. That's all they probably ever hear. And it's just grossly taken out of context. They don't even understand. If you were to ask them, well, where does the Bible say that? They'd probably say, I don't know. Where does Jesus say to love your neighbor as yourself? Well, I don't know. They can't even turn to it, yet they just know it. We want to be able to battle that ignorance with truth. And we want to do so in a loving way, in a humble way, but in a way that, uh, you know, they could see the errors of their way. There's, there are rebukes that are needed from people who are going to side with homosexuals, with sodomites, with people who hate God over Bible-believing Christians that love the Lord, that preach the gospel to every creature, that do their best to go out and teach all nations as Jesus commanded. There's a huge, you know, there, there is a, a very, very big problem with someone who really is a believer, who really is a child of God, that is not siding with their brother and sister in Christ over God-haters. 